Che 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 You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again codingphase.com Your boy's back and I done did it again one more time Listen hope you guys is doing good hope you guys is doing great <laughs> We just popped in right now uh to do this live stream man Shout out to everybody in here shout out to the people that just randomly come in <laughs> give a down vote <laughs> They just came in. The live stream just started. And there's already somebody's like, yo, hold on. I got notifications just to give him a down vote. <laughs> oh, poor dudes, man. Poor dweebs. Okay. <laughs> yo, you imagine you, you subscribe to somebody just to give him a down vote. You're like, yo, I'm subscribed just to give him a down vote. Like, I don't even like the content. I ain't got nothing, but I get notifications just for that. <laughs> yo, shout out to everybody, man. Listen, man, shout out to Malay 3000. Shout out, let's see. Malay 3000, number one. Number two, Patrick Johnson. Number three, uh, Stanislav. Okay. Ramsey Jordan, late. You ain't make it to the top three, kiddo. Okay. <laughs> Came in late. You, you took too long. <laughs> Let's see. We got a couple of people. Marcus, what up? Marcus. Uh, Juan Lopez, aka OG, triple OG, aka OG Juan. Okay. Uh, they met. <laughs> there was no Father's Day sale. <laughs> Calvin Davis. Okay. Yamamoto san. All right. Shout out to you guys, man. We here, man. You see me with the glasses on. It's a nerdy day, okay? It means I've been on the computer for too damn long. My eyes hurt. I need to put the glasses on, okay? Protect my eyes, man. This blue light is killing me, okay? Um, but yeah, man, we basically named the live stream last live stream before, right? And dot, 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 dot. Clickbait, you know? <laughs> Clickbait got him now, nah, man. So this is what I'm going to be doing, guys. Right. You guys know that we are uh, bringing in uh, new mentees. Right. We're going to have the new mentor mentorship program. And um, we are also doing a lot of things. Right. So I basically want to do what I was doing on the Joe Santos channel here. Right. Where I just drop one video per week, you know, or maybe two or maybe three. But like really good edited videos, really good straight to the point videos. OK, and that's how we're going to do it for the coding phase. OK, again, um, now with that being said, man, right, you're probably wondering like, Joe, but how are you going to do a mentorship program if you don't do a live stream or you don't do this and that? Listen, man, I got you guys. Right. So for those of you guys that don't know, right, we just created a new account on Twitch. OK. So you could find me on Twitch, kiddos. Okay. Go follow me. Coding Phase Live. That's gonna be the name of the, the channel on, on Twitch. Of course, it, it's so fresh. I just created it. Right? This is how fresh it is. That I just created it. <laughs> and there's no banner, there's no picture. Just search coding phase live. You're gonna find me in there, kids. Okay. Now, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because as you guys may know, I like to go live you know randomly and talk about a whole bunch of different topics and a whole bunch of things um that might not have to do with uh programming or coding or what's faster or for loop or wild loop right so what i'm gonna be doing on this channel this uh twitch.tv slash coding phase live right that's the url you guys gotta go to okay Twitch TV slash coding phase live. Okay, it's right there. Go follow me on Twitch. Okay, we are going to be running the mentorship program through there. Okay, that's number one. Okay, um, and the reason why I want to do that is because I just want to have that long session. Like if I'm hanging out with one of the mentees and we're going over projects or we are helping them one on one, etc., I want to just go live with it and pretty much just put it out there now if we do that here on youtube and gonna hurt the channel okay uh but on, on twitch that's what it's for it's for live streams that everybody that's in there is for live streams then on top of that you're gonna be seeing me doing a lot of this type of content which is just me 
coming in, doing a quick live stream and just chatting. Okay. Just chatting, just hanging out, right? Do what I've been doing here on YouTube. Like same thing, right? Where I just come in and, and do live streams and just, we just talk. We just hang out. We talk about different things. Um, at the same time, I'm going to be bringing in uh, people from the Discord. Uh, let me see. Show you guys. If you guys haven't followed my Discord, go sign up. I mean, all you have to do is sign up to Discord and there's a Discord. Okay. This is Discord, kids. Okay. Discord is right here. Okay. Go ahead, join our community. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a lot of live streams where I bring in people from the voice channel. Okay. So you can come in, join, hang out with us, and we just talk live and, you know, have conversations, talk about whatever's going on. I mean, there's always something lit going on in, in the good old chat room. All right. So. Okay, it's pretty late. You could have your questions. You could do whatever the hell you want. And, you know, we have a lot of good conversations inside of the Discord channel. So, yeah, man, that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you guys are ex as excited as I am, right? You know, um, let me take this off. The glare is killing you guys. I know it's killing you guys. Um, but I got to protect my eyes. My eyes hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways man like i said man we're gonna be doing it like that uh for those specific reasons i want to give you guys like really good content um for this whole summer here on this channel we might come back with some live streams later on after the summer but this whole summer i just want to drop like a video that might take me three four days to to record and to edit and to put it out there right and just take my time with it that's why you guys haven't really seen me drop any new videos here on this channel. Y'all seen me do a lot of live streams. And it's because um, I'm working on a couple of videos that um, are very, very good, educational, and at the same time, they're going to be fun, right? You know how I do it. I also want to create, like, some sketches. Like, <laughs> it's going to be funny. It's going to be one of those funny situations, man. You're going to be like, holy shit, Joe. Joe's funny, but Joe got this video, so okay? gang. At the same time, I want to share the things that's happening with, um, you know, with Shopify, my development agency, all of those things I'm going to be doing here on YouTube. Again, it's going to be more uh, professional videos, right? So it's not just going to be me here hanging out on this stupid live stream camera. It's going to be like me recording a video. Somebody else going to be recording me, helping me out. Y'all can see the full effect. Y'all can see the full figure. You know what I mean? Y'all can see the, the six pack. Y'all see the, you get what I'm saying? Y'all get to see the full, the full package. You know what I mean? You might even see the little, little, little shit coming out of the side. You know what I mean? The shorts might be a little tight. Man, Dingo might be coming out through the side. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> now, nah, but I want to be like moving around. I want to do more videos um, and, and do a lot of cool things for you guys here on this channel. All right. Um, but yeah, I just and at the same time, I want to just go live. Y'all know how I am. I'm spontaneous. I like to just go live and be like, yo, what up? We here. We at the mall. We at the spot. And we could play some music, too, which is going to be cool. I'm going to put you guys on because some of you guys, y'all don't know about the new wave. Yeah, yeah, like over here. I hear guys on the Discord channel like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm still listening to Tupac. We in 2021 right now, basically. Like, <laughs> you mean you listening to Tupac? Listen to that new little Uzi, little baby, little whatever, little little kid, right? Whoever's out, <laughs> the kid, whoever's out, that's who you need to be listening to. That new wave, right? So we want to do that shit on, on on Twitch, right? You know, we want to be reckless with it, have fun, and at the same time do the mentorship um, program over there live, and then you know weekly we probably come up and and take all those clips like different moments from those live streams that we do on twitch and bring it back here but better edit right with a better edit and, and making sure that everything's straight to the point because look for example like this times that we drop gems and we have a conversation like the other day we was talking about you know real estate and we was talking about um you know how to make money online and a whole bunch of other things and the live stream is like two hours long. Most people 
they miss out on, on the whole gems that's in there. So I want to come in and make this channel where it's like specific to, you know, giving you like a content that's less than 10 minutes long, right? Something quick, something that you'll be like, okay, I'm excited to see the next video, right? I know some of you guys, yeah, enjoy the live stream. I know some of you guys be like, damn, I'm excited to see what Joe's going to come up next. But there's so many people, the majority of people, they don't come to the live streams to just like, just watch one guy talk for an hour. Like we're going to do that shit on, on Twitch. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is, man. Okay. So definitely uh, go follow me right now as we speak. If you got to leave out of here, go follow me on Twitch. Okay. Just search coding phase. You come here, right? You search coding phase, right? Just like that. Coding phase live. Just like that. Oh, we got eight followers. Nice. Hey, what up, guys? And by the way, I'm going to be doing another live stream later on on Coding Face Live. Yeah. So if you want to get that, come in. And at the same time, I might be playing some games too, right? I might bust your ass on some NBA 2K once in a blue moon, right? I'm not really trying to be streaming games, but I just want to be live, right? I just want to come in there and go live with my people, hang out with you guys and you know, do what we do here and then just leave this channel to give them the professional, you know, content, right? I was going to do that with the Joe Santos channel and just put in a whole bunch of content. And, and that was like, you know what? Coding phase is coding phase. You know what I'm saying? Like people already know this. So we might as well give them the content that they like and, and do all the things that, that, you know, people enjoy, right? <laughs> Let me see. Uh, da -da -da. We got Cam Perry. Shout out to Cam Perry. Uh, let me see. What else? Let me see. Da -da -da. <laughs> Master of the match. Why do you focus so much on downwards? I'm not focusing on downwards. I'm just pointing it out. Like, hey, man. <laughs> like, there's people that literally, like, um, it, I'm not, like, freaking paying mind today like i don't give a fuck about that shit but it's just hilarious that imagine this imagine if i didn't like um i don't know what's the kid marcus brownlee mkbhd whatever his channel is and i subscribe and i hit click on all notifications notify me when he's live <laughs> to give my down vote like that shit is funny to me i don't know i find it hilarious that you know there's somebody out there that is just like taking their time to be like, oh, I'm just gonna subscribe to Downvo. <laughs> you imagine that dude tight? <laughs> like, damn, this guy's making money. Uh, I think I could code better than this guy. I could do this, 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 and that. Uh, oh my god, I, I don't know how he got more followers than me. <laughs> Mad, right? And I'm like, just balling out, having fun, enjoying my life. You know, got beautiful kids beautiful wife right and they're like they're pissed off they're like oh my god how how can people mess with this guy and i'm i'm the dweeb you know what i mean i'm the dweeb that people should follow you know so that to me that's just hilarious right <laughs> oh poor dweebs um let me see uh da 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 <laughs> Look at the get mad. Oh, my poor dweebs. The poor dweebs are upset. We're not talking about four loops. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> fucking dweebs, man. Don't make me give you a fucking <laughs> a wedgie. <laughs> Pull your pants up like. Put them on top of the fucking. Uh, on a closet. Grab them by the drawers. Put them in a closet hanger. Like, Yo. Bring me down, yo. Bring me down. Fucking dweebs. <laughs> oh, my God. What up, Manuel Rodriguez? Let's see. What's good, Mari H? Uh, Jose Aquila. What up, bro? Uh, let's see. Car CX was really good. It was really, really, really good. Let's see. Jay Guitar was good. Was good. Was good. Joe retiring. Now, nah. by the way, guys, go check out the Shopify course, right? The whole career bundle is done. Finito. Done. Dunzo. Okay? Go check that out. All right? For those of you guys that are wondering, like, what you're going to be building, 
you're gonna build a full uh, Shopify theme, bro. Okay, full Shopify theme. So that career bundle gives you everything that you need, right, to become a Shopify developer, right. On um, the next stage that we are going to be working on is going to be literally, you know, Shopify apps, right. So this right here, guys, is the Shopify theme that you are going to be building. Has some nice animation. Show you how to do all of that. At the same time, um, you get the whole bundle, which gives you JavaScript, which gives you CSS, which gives you SAS, HTML, freaking Ruby as a bonus. Um, and then from there, the Shopify uh, store. You learn everything about Shopify stores, and then from there, you learn everything on how to create. Uh, Shopify theme that you can sell or you could work for a company, right? Uh, either way, but it's fully customizable. As you guys can see, if I could come here and I'll be like, okay, cool. Let me go to my sections, go to jumbo. I want to choose an image. I don't know. We're going to choose, uh, we got Malay 3000 in here. But let's see. If we choose this girl automatically. We're going to come here, da, da, da. click select, switch this to image okay uh switch this to let's see what else we want to change this area right here we could call this uh shorties bras um <laughs> shorties bras collection right i don't know right um you could come here all of this customizable right we could put malay 3000 right here uh, his beautiful son. Uh, let's see. We could come in here. Uh, choose. I don't know. Choose this guy with his kid. Okay. Um, I don't know. Choose this guy. What's his name? I forgot his name. He could be in there. Add images. Right. Add another image. Come in. Choose this guy on, on a ledge. Right. Like all of this is customizable. Right. Everything from the uh, title of your website to the menu sections um pretty much this sections here collections i show you how to create your own uh sections custom made sections for your website which allows the user whoever buys your theme or the users who don't know how to code to just easily come here and say okay i want to add a section and i want to have a two collection section okay you click on add and then from there they just without doing much just come in choose a a section or a collection right choose another collection right and there you go everything is there good to go right easy okay go in there you can see the products that's inside of those collections etc you could you know uh, add products to your your car everything everything that is needed for e-commerce website you get to learn it through here right and you could customize this however you want once you take this course you can create your own themes right um somebody had hit me up and they're like joe what's the difference between what you're doing on your shopify course and what i've seen on udemy or even skillshare in other places and it's very simple what people are doing in those places they're just teaching you what's on the documentation right so they're not really creating a theme that's something that you can even sell or can even look professional or even show you how to actually uh, build it uh, to a certain point where you could be like, okay, uh, I know enough to build my own. What they do is just read the documentation. It's the same shit that they do on Udemy all the time, right? It's so easy. You know, some Indian dude comes in uh, go, <laughs> or Russian guy goes in, looks at the documentation, reads you exactly what's the documentation and says, hey, I'm going to teach you the, the syntax. Okay, you learn the syntax, but how do you put this shit together? How does all of this work? How can I make money off this? And that's what I do, right? Nobody else focuses on, on those things because it's so much easier to just create a course in one week. As you guys may know, you know, we've been building this course and it took what, like a, a month and a half? Not even a month and a half, like a month, right? We started in May, uh, like around May 14th. We are on June 23rd. So it's like it took a whole month to build, right? 
But at the same time, it's like we're building a real project, something that you can add to your portfolio, something that when people look at it, say, okay, cool. He knows what he's doing. And then not only that, that when they ask you, hey, could you go fix this section here on our theme? Can you add this thing or this extra feature to our theme? You going to know how to do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's the beauty of this course. It's not just like, okay, let's teach you the syntax. What's the point of knowing how to write something, right? It's like me teaching you the ABCs, right? I'll teach you the whole alphabet. Cool, I could teach you the whole alphabet. But if you don't know how to put words together or you don't know how to make a sentence and you don't know how to create a, you know, a essay, an introduction, a body, a conclusion, then what was the point of me teaching you the ABCs? You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference between what I do and what anybody else is doing out here, right? There's a reason why I'm choosing to, to do this for you guys. One, because the jobs is there. You could go into Indeed.com, search Shopify, Shopify development, right? Um, e-commerce, search e-commerce. That was another keyword um, that I, I, I found because just like in, in, um, in front-end development, right? It seems like sometimes there's people that fucking create these job listings and don't know what they're putting. So like, let's say, for example, somebody could go in and is hiring for somebody who, who does Shopify, but they'll go and put in the title as e-commerce dev or e-commerce developer, e-commerce development, or just put e-commerce. Okay. It's the same thing that happens with like front end development. Like you go in and you be like, well, they put in a front end developer, but they don't tell you that, Hey, we're actually looking for a react developer. They just go in and put in uh, a whole bunch of different things like uh, Vue.js, React, Node.js, Angular, uh, a whole bunch of listings, right? But they don't go in and tell you specific like, hey, we're looking for a Shopify developer or we're looking for a React developer. So it's the same thing that they do with, you know, the job listings or with Shopify. People go in and is looking for a Shopify developer, but then they go in and put a Magento, uh, WooCommerce, Shopify, uh, what was the old, old other one? Open cart, a whole bunch of other ones. And it's like, you're looking for a Shopify developer. Just put it in the title, stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes this HR people, the people that's doing the job listings, like they're thin things. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, but even at that, like I, I totally understand why they also do that because then they'd be like, okay, we want to hire somebody who has experience or has done some type of e-commerce um, websites or applications before. And sometimes they can't find a Shopify guy. Right. That's why I'm focusing so much in Shopify, because, you know, there's companies looking for a Shopify guy, but they can't find them. So then what happens is they got to hire the next best thing, the, the next best thing, which is a guy who might have experience with WooCommerce or Magento. And then once they get hired, then they got to train them and teach them about Shopify and how it works and how you're able to create apps, create uh, themes, etc. Right. So we're bypassing that we're coming in we're learning all of the skills to become a shopify developer so you don't have to be uh competing with those guys you're pretty much like i know what i'm doing okay um but yeah man it's actually pretty cool go check it out if you guys haven't checked out uh the bundle you know what just because we're here man let's create a coupon what you want me to call the coupon right now right let me know <laughs> You know how I am. I'm spontaneous. I don't care. You know what I mean? L let's just come in. Let's let's create a coupon. What, what's the gonna be the coupon? The uh, let's see. We got the Shopify Developer Career Bundle. Okay. Uh, let's see. Coupon. We'll create a spontaneous coupon. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're gonna save you. Let's see. So for this whole bundle, it's like 500. We're gonna save you let's say 310 <laughs> 310 okay you could save 310 right now what what's gonna be the name of the the coupon what should we call it uh let's see something quick let me know a name right now somebody call it right now bundle up <laughs> last live i'm just gonna call it last live okay last live 
June. Okay, copy this, copy this. Okay, we're doing this actually live right now. Okay, last live, right? Uh, put in, I don't know, whatever amount of thing. Okay, so search that. Take this. Okay, this is the this is the link. Create a, a, a coupon for you guys, quick. Okay, want to take care of you guys. All right, so then now let's go into the live stream. Click here. Okay, let me put this right here. All right, for those of you guys that want it, last live uh, Shopify bundle coupon. Okay, last live Shopify bundle coupon. There you go. Save. All right. There you go, kids. And I put it in the chat room. All right. Cool. That's how we do it, man. We want to take care of the peoples. Okay. So so for those of you guys that want it, there you go. Okay. It's a really good course, man. I'm telling you right now, it's something that you're going to use like forever. Like I'm telling you guys ahead of time, like Shopify is not going away. Okay. For those of you guys that are wondering, well, Joe, will there be another service? This, this and that. Shopify has already set itself up to be the leading platform for e-commerce. If we look into similar tech or similar web, what is it? Similar web, right? We're going to come in here. Let's see the numbers, right? Sometimes we, we need to see the real numbers to understand this thing sometimes. Okay, so this is similar web. There's a website where you could get information about different websites okay so we're gonna search for shopify okay shopify.com all right and let's see what's going on so remember i don't know if you guys remember we talked about this before okay how before it was at the 40 46 mark right so 46 million people or 46 million views per month okay and remember what i told you guys i told you guys around here around last year i told you matter of fact but we came back and we was talking about this around march i told you guys i'm, I'm gonna create the shopify course because i'm seeing all the jobs all the opportunities and all the people that are creating um small businesses with shopify okay so it was around 48 now right in april went up to 61 million right then now in may right from the time that we did the last video that we talked about shopify now it's up to 66 million and it's going to continue to grow okay shopify is not going nowhere okay shopify is to e-commerce what 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 wordpress is to web development okay so if you don't understand that wordpress.com is pretty much one of the biggest platforms in the world is about i don't know it's probably like one of the biggest things uh, online so we could search another company called uh let me see similar tech okay coming here we're gonna search for this this is the tools that you need to know guys if you are a developer and you want to do not you want to get get the knowledge and you want to know how to choose certain technologies and what you should focus on this is what you want to be going to similar web similar tech okay so in here we're going to search for let's search for wordpress right okay right so in here just on wordpress alone there's 8 million websites built on wordpress okay just on that now if we come in here let's see compare let's see if we cl click on compare or see like the other uh other technologies there's a way to see like uh, a full um full way i forgot how to do it uh but it shows you all of the different things all of the different technologies let me see if i could get it through here okay content management systems right you see that the biggest one is wordpress right drupal is next then you got woocommerce which is also on uh, wordpress all right this is all in there now let's come in here let's search shopify all right clicking here now they have 310,000 
different websites and it's up by one percent which is pretty big okay now you might be thinking well wordpress got millions and that's because wordpress is is geared towards you know everybody like you got a a website that you might want to create about art you could create it with wordpress if you want to create a website with i don't know um for freaking game development or you want to blog about your photography or your travel etc that's what you're going to use wordpress but shopify is different because shopify actually is for businesses so this right here shows you like how many businesses is out there that are using shopify okay and this is just uh, a regular number right you can also search for information on alexa search my shopify alexa that's another company that you could get information uh let me see alexa.com you could get information about this right and see how the website's doing now if we go to let's see shopify right here search my shopify.com see what's going on with this right now this is even way more right so this we're, we're looking at huge spikes in traffic okay this is my shopify.com has about 75 million on average and now it's doing basically a hundred million views per month right total visits now this this is not um how you call this this is not like how many people are logging in but the amount of traffic that this is getting to so if you go to shopify when you create a website i mean when you create a website or create a, a shopify store they give you that subdomain of let's say joestore.myshopify.com so with this and the traffic that you're seeing here you can see the amount of people that's actually going in and creating their, their websites and, and now putting it out there. Because at the same time, right, uh, you got to think about it like this. At the same time, this doesn't give you the total numbers. This is just giving you the, the total number of visits of people going in and out, in and out, in and out. But there's websites out there that are fucking huge. Like you got Kylie Jenner. Like if you look, um, what is it? Uh, let me see. Top... 50 Shopify stores. Okay. Let's see. 50 best Shopify stores. Okay. You're going to find a huge amount of like companies that use it, right? You got House, you got Critical Slide, the Studio Prosper, uh, Tlux, Quad Lock, the Modern Shop, Brilliant, the Candy Factory, uh, 49, right? You got all of this, uh, 18 carat wholesale, Bico, uppercase, uh, unconditional. There's a whole bunch of different companies that use this, right? And this is not even giving you the whole picture, right? Shopify stores, Jeffrey, Star, Kylie. Okay, this is just I'm giving you guys like crazy amount of knowledge in here, right? You got so many different stores that are, are using Shopify. Yes, Tesla uses Shopify. Okay, <laughs> okay. So Mofi, Nestle, Fashion Nova, uh, okay, Herschel, the hundreds of uh, velour lashes, right? So when you're thinking like. Oh, how do I get to work for this companies? How do I work for this, this, and that? This is what they use. Shopify, right? Their whole platforms are built on top of Shopify. So that just giving you like just a little glimpse, you know, at, at what's going on in the Shopify world. So for those of you guys that's wondering like, man, should I learn this skill? You know, you got more opportunities in this than you do with Node.js, right? And what do I mean by that? Right. If you're a junior developer and you're just starting e-commerce businesses, give you more jobs and more opportunities 
than you going in and, and be like, well, I want to go to Google. Like those companies, they're very selective, very, very selective of who goes in. You got to go through a crazy uh, testing, um, you know, algorithms, fucking personal uh, testing where they're just like asking you bullshit questions to see what's, what's your personality like, bro. In e-commerce, nobody cares about that. What people care about is, hey, can you join the team? Can you be productive? Are you going to be able to uh, do the features and do extra things that we might need, right? Are you a go-getter, right? Are you somebody who actually works fast, right, and, and can work in a fast environment, right? That's what you're going to be looking at when it comes to e-commerce, all right? So I'm just super excited we got this done, right? This is like my biggest and probably the, yeah, probably the biggest a career bundle in, in, in course that I've created. Okay. Not only because it helps a lot of people, but also too, because the demand of it is crazy. If I was to show you guys right now, my, like my Facebook advertisement, like it's crazy. The amount of people that are clicking on the ad, like I'm talking about we got people from designers, marketing guys, uh, developers, um, we have, of course, you know, guys who have never done any of this that are clicking on the ads and, and signing up to the courses that they've never taken before, right? Most of these people don't know me from a hole in the wall. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't know me. They don't know, like, what my course is like, if they're going to enjoy it or they're going to learn. But people are so interested in Shopify right now that they're like, yo, I'm clicking on the ad. I want to see what's going on in there, okay? And it's been crazy. If I, I, I told you guys, we, we just sold a lot of, of the pre-orders, bro. Now it's complete. Now the second stage, which I'm adding as a bonus, is the Shopify app, right? Which we might build in Node.js or we might build it with PHP, okay? I'm, once, once I get the data and I figure out what exactly uh, people want and what they really need, I'm going to choose between either PHP or Node.js. Node.js is going to be cool and fun because it's all JavaScript and people's going to be like, oh, this is great. The developers is going to be excited. They'll be like, oh, yeah, we got it on Node.js. But PHP is important because most of these companies, they also use WordPress and they also use other tools that are built with PHP. So I got to see what the majority of the people that is buying this course, what they want to build it on. Okay. It's not a, it's not one of those situations where we're asking a technical question or we're, we're choosing the decision on which one we're going to choose, right? We're not going to go in and, and choose one because one is cool and the other one is, is not cool. I, I don't base it on that. It's strictly a business decision. Okay. Like what is it that people want to learn from their experience? So, or from their, their industry. From what I've been seeing in a lot of the Facebook groups from people that are working with big, big name brands, right? They're doing everything with PHP and Laravel, okay? If I go in and I build it with Node.js, I'm just building it just to build something. Be like, oh, guys, we got it in Node.js. But I want to build it what people are, are using in the industry, right? And from what I'm seeing from asking questions on Facebook groups and, and getting information from people that that work full time in, in, you know, in this major companies. Like I have one, um, one of my boys who works for this company called lock, I think it's lock high, but they use Shopify a different way. They use it from using the storefront API. Okay. But other people don't use it like that. Most people are using it with creating a, a application, right? Creating a, a website and then using that as an application an, an embedded application within their Shopify store. So they're using PHP to create the, the, the apps that they need. And then they have internal tools that are made for their Shopify stores, but they're using the Shopify platform as their, their main website, not the other way around. Cause with storefront API, you could create your own website and then just connect to the API to, pull products and to, um, do the checkout and all of, all of that stuff. Right. Um, but that's not the majority of people, right? The majority of the industry, they're not doing it that way. 
they're just using the Shopify platform. So that's something that we got to go in and um, focus on, right? So, yeah, man. Let me see. Uh, da, da. We're just, we're just uh, reading, 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 reading the comments, reading the comments. I'm just getting in here. <laughs> My friend, da, 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 Alex Casanos, my first exposure to Twitch. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. And what's cool about it, too, is that it's going to bring in other different audiences because we're going to be talking about all type of things on Twitch and we're just going to have fun. Like, you know, coding face is coding face, right? Like we're here for what we're here for on coding face. We're here to get job, make money, right? Learn the skills that we need as developers to either get a job or to make side income, etc. That's what I want to focus on coding phase and, and give you guys some really good content. Like I have a whole bunch of cameras here and a whole bunch of things. I'm like, I don't use it. I need to start using it. Okay. Create really good content for you guys. Put it here on the coding phase channel. And then whenever I want to hop on a live stream, just like now, just talk. We, we're going to do that on, on Twitch, right? Where people are used to sitting down for an hour, two hours, having conversations, interacting with each other. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> Dallas it's like Christine Manolo version 2.0 I don't know man hopefully not um let's see da 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 drop the discord Ramsey <laughs> let's see da 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 reading 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 uh da 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 let's see CP spontaneous <laughs> CP spontaneous <laughs> The Mega Joe coupon. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hey, Joe, I have a question. Can you review my web designer slash developer website? Send it to me, codingface at gmail.com. We could make that video today. I could go in and record it and put it up for you. So I'll review it and help you out on that. And at the same time, other people can see it and they can enjoy it. Let's see. Da -da -da. Reading, 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 reading. Let me see. Uh, uh, Jose says Shopify course is very helpful. Thank God for Joe. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to make sure that you guys learn the things that you need to actually make money out here. Like, that's what we're here for, bro. We're here for the bag, right? I'm not here, you know, like let the, the other guys worry about Dino JS. What's better, Dino JS or no JS? I don't care where the job's at, where the money is at. Where can I be independent? Where can I be free? Okay. Like that's the biggest difference between what I do and 99% of all of the YouTubers that's here on YouTube. Like everybody's here for it just to get views, entertain people, right? I'm here for the action, right? I'm not here to just give you a tutorial that nobody needs, right? Like there's people that create tutorials. Oh, some shit just came out. I'm going to create a tutorial. They have to do it because they want to get the views and they need the views to survive. I don't need the views, right? What I care about is for you guys to get jobs and get money and start getting paid. That's what I care about. When you make money, I make money. That's It's that simple. It's a simple, easy, and, and, you know interaction between both of those transaction right hey you support me i'll make sure i give you the things that you need and the tools to make money okay then from there when you make money you become successful you tell other people about what i do here and then that's when i make money that's just how it is right it's like an investment i invest my time into you guys i invest my time into giving you guys the things that you need but it's because you know, I need you guys to succeed. I can't just create a course just to create it, right? If I'm going to create a course, it needs to be something that you can get results. There's no point of me coming in and creating courses and people be like, well, Joe, uh, that was a nice course, Joe, uh, but I can't find a job. Thank you. And like, nah, <laughs> I need you guys to get jobs. I need you guys to start making side income. That's why all of that shit that I do here is, is here for a reason. You get what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. Uh, plus, they have a partner with Facebook and just announced partnership with Walmart. Yes. 
they're just gonna continue to grow bro for those of you guys that don't even know like shopify has its own um you know conferences they have their own thing shopify is like the app store for apple right so shopify shopify has their own their own uh app stores they have their own uh theme stores etc like it's a whole different world right e-commerce i've been telling you guys how, how long i've been talking about e-commerce for like three years right and that's because that's what i used to do in most companies that that i work for my my experience is as, as a developer my biggest experience is not like me working at a tech startup right going into be like oh well joe worked at uh dropbox and he was compressing files and this nah the majority of my experience as a developer probably out of like the six seven years that i was working full time as a developer was probably four or three years and a half of it was completely just on e-commerce e-commerce companies that sell products to other consumers that's it and, and customers and shit like that you know what i'm saying that's what i was doing right and i've seen this shit for years i've been talking about it for years of, of like yo how e-commerce is the best way to go because that's how i got hired bro it's so easy to get into these companies you're not going in there and getting tested on algorithms you're not getting tested on none of that shit what they care about is can you do the job and that's why I love e-commerce, right? I, I really enjoy it because not only are you creating, uh, it, it's like an e-commerce website is a never-ending application. What does that mean, right? It means that there's always going to be new things that you need to add to it. Oh, Shopify came out with this new feature. Cool, let's add it to our website. Oh, Apple just came out with the, the quick apps on their new software on their new os cool now we got to add that to the website oh we got i don't know the apple pay or amazon pay cool now we got to integrate that with our uh payment system or our uh, application etc like there's always something to do right oh we have uh some new machine that takes a picture of our pro uh, our product in a 360 view now you got to add that feature to your website so the user could go in and drag their mouse and they could go in and, and see the, the item go 360 etc like there's so many different things that you can do with an e-commerce website and it's testing all of your skills everything that has to do with the front end everything that has to do with the back end just as much as you working for a tech company that just focuses on creating new technologies or new fucking libraries or whatever the hell they're creating you know what i'm saying but um again e-commerce is something that's gonna be here for a long time right that's just not going nowhere like we're we're always gonna be needing a, a website or something some type of application to sell products right because that's how people buy now people you know even with this whole corona shit like people are not going into stores and this thing that happened now where they closed down everything is gonna happen again by around september november around there right right before it gets to like real winter they're gonna have to close this shit down again business is gonna be closed again right and what do you think those people's gonna be doing they're gonna be selling the shit online you know what i'm saying so yeah <laughs> there's no way around it so as a developer you want to look at your surrounding and look at uh, what's out there and the possibilities and opportunities right it's like a guy who saw these opportunities when wordpress came out when wordpress came out i don't know like maybe 2000 something like maybe 2002 2003 around there whenever it came out you know wordpress was something that people were like yeah this shit seems cool it's a nice content management system but then now you're able to customize it add new applications like plugins or even add uh, custom themes add custom features there's people that took that wave and they wrote it they wrote that whole wave for 12 15 years of just hey i'm i'm a wordpress guy i'm doing this and that right making bread making bank either by having a digital agency or selling their products online like themes plugins like 
You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I feel a lot of people they they get this wrong. They think like the goal is to get to Google or to get to one of these big companies. And the goal is to really be able to do whatever the hell you want. It's not to go work at any of this company. That's that's for the dweebs. They they're that's their goal. But if you could come in and say, you know what, I could make 300 k 400 k on my own without having to work for nobody, that's freedom. Even $100,000 that you make on your own without having to work for anybody, that's freedom. That's something that most of the other people that's working for a company or one of these tech companies, they don't have. And they don't have an exit plan on how they're going to, you know, stop sucking on the, the Google tick. You get what I'm saying? You in there just sucking the Google tape. Hey, they wash your clothes. They fucking, uh, they uh, take care of you. They make sure that you're here to, uh, you know, from six o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock at night. And you want to stay there because like, well, everything is here, right? You get what I'm saying? But there's dudes out here that all you have to do is do some research. Look online, right? I became a developer to be able to work from home. I didn't become a developer to be able to work for somebody forever, right? That was my goal. My initial goal was to be like, yo, how can I get 50,000? Because that's what I was thinking. I was like, yo, my mom made 35,000 her whole life, right? How can I go and make 50,000, which is a little bit better, right? Not to have big dreams. It's just, just a little bit better and be able to work from home. That's it. How can I do that? We achieved the 50,000. We achieved 100,000. We achieved 200,000. We achieved 400,000. We achieved the 500,000. We achieved all that shit, right? But none of that shit mean anything. The most important thing is I have my freedom. I'm free, kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm free. I'm disconnected from the fucking matrix. Like right now, you know, I'm going to meet up in a little bit with my boy Omar Soria, who's here in Tampa. I ain't got to do anything. I ain't got to go and be like, uh, call out or, or, or tell somebody my, my boss and be like, well, you know, um, can I, can I get half a day? Uh, I have to do something. Uh, uh, my tooth aches. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to lie. I don't got to lie to nobody. I just be like, yo, I'm out. And whatever work I need to do, I'll do it later on. Like at 12 o'clock at night, if I feel like it, right? That's just how it is. That's the freedom, right? But you only get that freedom when you work. And you learn things that that almost guarantee you to become independent. Okay, if you're learning technologies that you're gonna have to work for somebody for a long time, or like let's say you're you're putting yourself in positions where you're depending on somebody else's uh, salary to give it to you, then yeah, you put yourself in that shit. You know what I mean? For me, I knew from the beginning, I'm like, I'm going to work for like five years. That was my max. I said, I'm going to work for uh, companies and as a developer for five years, right? Now, you don't have to do that because I did that. And I learned so much other ways to make income. So now you might only have to work for somebody a year, two years before you start making enough money to quit your job and do your own thing, Right. Me and my boy Omar Soria, we're probably going to do a video about this um, later on. But we talk for like four or five hours. So Omar is out here in, in Tampa uh, because he had a situation with his cousin and he passed away. So now, you know, unfortunately, because of that tragedy, we had to get together. We, we got together, right? We got to meet up and stuff like that. I wish it would have been in a different situation. But we, he came through like at nine o'clock at night, right? We finished talking at two, almost three o'clock in the morning. I wish we would have done that shit live on, 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 on freaking YouTube, right? Or something on Twitch. We had so many conversations, bro, that it was crazy, right? I was like, man, this, is, this shit is crazy, you know, because there was a lot of things that, that we went over that, I, you know, like him, like right now, Omar has, he's been working as a developer, right? for two three years now i think he, he's gonna go on his third year now right he came into coding phase before i even created codingphase.com back when i would tell people like oh courses that i have taken before and i would just share it with people right 
he came in and saw like, oh, what I was doing. He's like, yo, this dude could do it. I could do it too, right? Let me continue with this. He grinded, right? He was working, I believe, for uh, this big company called Kroger. They're like the owners of like Publix and a whole bunch of other uh, supermarket chains in, in Ohio. I think it's yeah, in, in was it Cincinnati, Ohio, right? He was working over there, working as a full uh, full time developer, right? Which was dope. Now he came in with all the things that I've been sharing and all the things that I've been you know putting out here, right? And, and just showing how people can make income and doing their own thing and and just that mentality right he's done what has taken me seven eight years he's done it in two three years he's there already dude already has you know he has his house has another house that he's renting out right he's still working as a developer pretty soon he's gonna leave his company, do his own thing. He did that. What took me like six, seven years, right? To finally quit my job and do all that stuff with the knowledge and the information that I've been putting out here on YouTube and the mindset that I've been helping you guys to, to keep on, right? He did that in two years, half the time of, of that. It took me and that's the goal. You get what I'm saying? When I was doing all this stuff, I had to go the long way. Right? I had to go the long way. I had to go and learn 30 different frameworks. I had to go and learn 30 different things. Right, But you have to understand that there was nobody out there that was telling me like what was it that I needed to do or how was I going to become independent. Nobody was sharing that. There was nobody on YouTube sharing that. And even till this day, there is nobody else who's sharing that. Name one YouTube channel that is like this channel that's giving you the skills and talking about how to become independent. There's no other channel. No other channel. Zero. Everybody's talking about the same shit that they were talking about in 2011 when I started. Nobody else is doing this, right? But. If you're listening to what I'm telling you and you follow the steps, right? You can do the same thing like Omar Soria. You, you got DJ Norris doing his own thing. I haven't even talked to DJ Norris in a while. He's chilling. He works at NASA and doing all that stuff. Companies that I didn't even get to go, go and work for. Doing shit that I probably didn't even get to do, right? Because we put them in that mindset. We helping the tools. We helping you guys to give you the tools that you need. Not the shit that's trending or shit that's going to get views. You know what I'm saying? This is, uh, you got to understand this. Like, yo, what took me seven years to do seven, eight years almost. It could take you two years to do. And if you're even more of a hustler, more smarter than me, brilliant, etc. Right? You could do that shit in a year. You get what I'm saying? But you have to focus on the bag. You have to focus on your freedom, right? What is it that you want out of this? If you enjoy working for people and you enjoy, you know, you know, just having a stable income, this industry is great for you. But the best part about this industry is that you learn skills that can also help you out to become independent and be able to excuse me, be able to work on your own. And that's what I've been focusing on. The Shopify course, that's what it provides, right? It provides the, the, the thing that you need to basically work on your own, create your own apps, create your own themes, work for a company, right? Once you're working for that company, see how they do things. Learn from that. Now you might even be a guy who says, you know what? I want to sell my own products online. E-commerce is the way to go. That's how you make money by selling shit. You don't make money by fucking just working per hour, right? Everybody has to work in the beginning, right? I'm not telling you guys never to work for nobody. We all need to work. I needed to work for me to get to where I'm at. I needed to work. I needed to get that income, that capital to be able to have savings, to be able to take risk 
and be able to jump into things that I'm jumping into now. If you broke, you can't jump into the shit that I'm, I'm getting into. You just can't. You want to open up a, a, a Shopify store and you want to do drop shipping, you're going to need money for advertisement. If you broke, you can't, you got no money. There is no drop shipping. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't exist. That's a pipe dream. You get what I'm saying? If, if you want to uh, sell products, you need to pay for Facebook ads and this, this, and that, right? How are you going to get that? You need to first build a capital. That's why this whole thing is like a big circle, guys. You learn how to code, right? You get the skills that you need to work for a company, right? The thing is that those skills that you are using for that company and that they're paying you for, you can also use it for yourself. So while you still work in there, you go to the next stage, which is use those skills for yourself. You don't quit your job yet. Once you make, uh, you make a certain amount of money that you say, hey, I got some good savings. Hey, I got some, uh, a, a good plan, right? I got a, a, a good strategy for me to be able to build my own business and continue from here on. You quit your job and use the same skills that you have. Now you're using it for yourself. And then now you're just in this infinite loop of just working for yourself, making income for yourself. Somebody at my asked me, you know, like my mom was telling me the other day, why are you always on the computer? Like, take a break, you know, take a break, relax. You don't have to be on the computer all the time. And, and this is now I'm like, ma, I work for myself. The more that I work, the more money I make. If I was working for somebody, I'm like, yo, mm, 4.59, it's about to be 5 o'clock, I'm out of here. I ain't working no more. Because my salary just that that amount, right? You're getting 8000 a month or 10000 a month. That's the most. But I work for myself. If I come in here and I do this Shopify course, which thousands and thousands of people might need, and I have to work for 12 hours a day to get everything done, Right? That Shopify course could generate me a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand in two, three months. Then from there, I could use that same income and then fund my other digital agency that I'm building now. And I could put the down payment to get a fucking legit office for, you know, 50,000, 60,000 out of it. But if I don't work for myself, there's no way I will be able to make 50, 60,000 for that freaking, you know, that down payment for that office. You get what I'm saying? But when you work for yourself, sky's the limit, bro. Sky's the fucking limit, bro. That's just how it is. There's a lot of shit that, you you know, you're going to win and you're going to lose on some shit. But it's like one thing that I learned over the years is put your hands on everything. Put your hands on everything. Everything that makes money, put your hands on it. Just put your, put your hands on it. One thing is going to bite your hand, right? And it's going to be like, this is where the money at, right? So that's how you got to think. Because if you go in, put your hands on everything. Hey, there's e-commerce. Hey, there's products I could sell. Hey, I could learn the skills. Hey, I could go in, do development. Hey, I could do digital agency. Hey, I could sell uh, a fucking t-shirts. Hey, I could do this and that. Like, I'm putting my hands on everything. And I'm not even counting the other shits that I'm doing. We trying to get a fucking Dunkin' Donuts, kiddos. Right? Dunkin' Donuts sounds funny, but that's extra income that I don't have to do shit. And I'm about to just buy another house that I'm buying right now. My mom is going to retire in three years. I'm going to buy a new house and then from there rent it out. Right? And in three years, once my mom retires from her job, I'm going to be like, Mom, here's a brand new house for you. But there's income in there that's already generated. There's so much shit that I'm doing at the same time, but I wouldn't be able to do it if I just have that mentality of like, oh, I'm just going to work for somebody. Nah, bro. You got to be a hustler and you got to learn the things that's going to generate income for you. There's a long-term plan, bro. Everything that you, you, you want can be achieved. You just got to understand that everything takes time. So if one thing that you notice, how many of you guys are over 30 years old? Put in the number, the number one. For if you or put the number three right now on the chat room, how many of you guys are over 30 years old? Right? How many of you guys are over 30 years old? Put the number three, right? And I want you guys to understand, right? Think about 
when was the last time that you was 19 years old? Does it seem like it was a long time ago? Or does it seem like it was just the other day? Right? If you're over 30 years old, you could look back and say, damn, I was 19 years old just the other day. Now I'm over 30. Now I'm 32, 33, 35, 38. Right? How many of you guys can look back and be like, did it feel like it was a long time? No, nah, it wasn't a long time ago. Time fucking flies. <laughs> time flies. That's one thing that you got to know, guys. Time flies, especially when you're busy. Every day I wake up at 9 o'clock in the morning, bro. And I swear to God, I feel like I blink and it's already 9 o'clock at night. Because I'm busy. I'm always working. I'm always doing some shit. Right? So when you have a goal and you have a long-term goal and you understand that this shit is going to take time, just work. Just work. Do what you got to do. Time is going to fly by. Oh, it takes you three months to really learn the basics of web development? Work. Next thing you know, that's it. Three months is gone. Oh, it, it might take you an extra two weeks to a month to find another job? Flew by. You got a job. Right? Now you're working at this company. Oh, I might do some side income, niche websites, uh, online store, uh, sell products, sell themes, sell uh, apps, whatever it might be. Oh, but this shit is really going to take me like six months to start making some solid income. Just work. Those six months is going to come through. Now you have uh, six months at your job and you got some income coming in. Oh, this, this shit want, you want this thing to double up? Work more when you come from home. When you come from work, come, come home and work on, on your side income. Time is going to fly a year, two years is going to fly. Next thing you know, the, the thing that you was doing on the side is making more income than the, the job that you're doing full time. Now, I'm not going to tell you quit your job right there. This is what I'm going to tell you, right? Work another year. Work another year. Making double the amount. You're making, let's say, 8000 on your job per month and you're making another eight thousand ten thousand on your side income work another year why because when you quit your job you need to have a good capital to maintain you okay and then from there you want to have capital to be able to invest into different things that's going to grow your side income even more one thing that i learned when i quit my job in 2017 i was so nervous I don't know if you guys remember, y'all Y'all know when I was working for uh, XYZ.com, whatever company it was, right? Y'all remember I used to be going to lunch break, do the turkey sandwiches and, you know, for lunch break and this, this and that, right? Y'all know about that, right? Now, when I quit my job, I was nervous. I was like, man, I got a kid. I got, you know, I got a house. I had a big ass house that I had to pay. I was like, yo... This shit is crazy. My mom used to live with me, so I had to take care of her. And I was like, oh, shit. Is this the right time to quit my job? But I was making some pretty good income on the side. Like, I had, like, a full-time job. What I was making on, on my side income was more than my full-time job. So I knew that I was going to be fine. But I felt like, what if everything goes away? What if, you know, my website's get shut down or a hacker comes in brings me down or aws goes down or um i don't know youtube deletes my shit so youtube at the time was 900 dollars, and even to this day three years later i still make 900 dollars, right uh from youtube and i was like man what if all this shit i lose all this shit or whatever da 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 i was nervous but you know what happened that the income that i was making on the side which I was able to work on for three hours, right? Per day or two hours per, per day in the nighttime. Now, because I was working it full time, fucking double, triple, quadruple what I was doing. Because now that side income is solid and now I'm putting in my full time into my own shit. 
I haven't been able to look back. Three years later, we, we've been doing this since 2017. I don't work for nobody. And all the shit that I'm telling you guys doesn't have to take you seven years to quit your job and do what I'm doing. This shit could take you a year and a half, two years. Because I'm teaching you from the experience of like the shit that I go through, the mistakes that I made. And then now I come back and I tell you, mm, do it like this, don't do it this way. I was the guy that spent one whole year. I didn't go and get a job and I didn't apply for a job for one whole year. 2011, the whole 2011 to 2012, right? I didn't work for nobody. I could have been working for people. I could have been making money, getting experience as a developer. But I wanted to master JavaScript. I wanted to be the master. I wanted to be like the guys in the conferences and this, this, and that. That was all bullshit. If you're not planning on creating tools, you're not planning on creating libraries, you're not planning on creating frameworks, you don't need to get to that point. What is what is the goal that you want? You want freedom? You want money? You want What exactly is it that you want? You want to be the guy that, that goes to conferences and goes and fucking gives you the big words and this, this, and that? If you that's what you want, then yeah, go for it. Learn everything. Go get your computer science degree. Go fucking, go get a master's. Go try to get an internship at fucking Google. Go to fucking MIT sessions. Go do all that shit if you want to be that guy. But if you have zero interest in that, why the fuck are you preparing to do all that shit when you're not going to be able to use it? There's people that I see out here that are, are, are preparing themselves to shit like as if they want to become geniuses. And in reality... What they want to do is just get a job. Focus on the thing that's going to get you a job. Oh, you want to be the guy in a beach with a laptop? You need to learn the skills that's going to get you to that point. You over fucking engineering everything, over learning shit is not going to get you there. Because if you look at the guys that are on that pathway, they're not on the beach. They're fucking taking the train, living with fucking roommates, going to a fucking xyz.com whatever trending company it is they're not on the beach my dude you know what i'm saying they're just going into work every day paying crazy fucking rent and doing the same shit that everybody else is doing the guys that's on the beach go check out johnny fd bro if y'all think i'm motivational you think i'm doing shit go check out johnny fd johnny fd's been doing this shit for fucking when I first started, he was already fucking killing it. Go check out Levels.io. Right? You could go check out this, guys. Bro, these things that I'm talking about, I'm not the only one that's talking about it. But they don't do it on YouTube. Those guys, they're not on fucking YouTube. They don't got time to be doing this shit. I'm the only one that spent time on this shit. Nobody else. The guys that think like me, they're not on this shit. They're creating applications, selling products. They're making money. They're not fucking on YouTube, bro. But go search these dudes, man. Johnny FD, bro. These are the people that motivated me to think like this, to get my shit to together, bro. I'm going to show you. We're going to go to the oldest videos, bro. I've been watching this guy and following this guy. For years, bro, nine years, ten years, bro. I remember when he first packing for for Thailand. This is the first video I've seen from him. Cause I was like thinking that I wanted to go and be a backpacker and and go to Thailand, go to all those places, you know this shit, right? And I found this guy. And I was like, yo, let me follow this guy's journey, bro. This dude became everything that he wanted to fucking do, right? But it wasn't by him fucking becoming the most fucking knowledgeable engineer. This and that. It's by learning the shit that's going to get you paid. That's how you're going to get your freedom. You're not going to get your freedom by fucking going in and be like, well, I know every library. I know every framework. Dino.js just came out. I need to stop everything that I'm doing to go and learn that. Focus on the thing that's going to get you a fucking bag, bro. Go check this fucking dude out, bro. Go to levels.io. These are the people that I've been following for years. For years since my beginning of my fucking journey, bro. We could go in. 
I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom, right? Four years ago, right? Even more, five years ago. This guy, bro, my whole fucking journey. My whole journey as a developer. I've been following these guys. Because they were the only ones that were talking about the same shit that I wanted to become. What I'm doing today. I became what I wanted to become. An independent developer that works from home. It makes money. That's what I wanted to become. And that's what I got. Okay. Go fucking read. I've been reading this guy's shit for years, bro. My whole journey. Nine years ago. Again, look at that. Nine years ago. Okay. Again, I'm just pointing it out. This journey started nine years ago. I didn't start working since uh, till 2012. My journey started nine years ago, 2011. Now we're in 2012. You got to understand, what is it that you want? If you're following me, you're here for a reason. You want to work for yourself. You want to be able to make your money, right? Become your own boss. But it's a process. You need to learn the things that you need to learn. You know, that's why when I come here, I'm, I'm sharing all this shit to all the dweebs, all the fucking people that come here and leave a downvote. I'm just a fucking random dude <laughs> to them. I'm just a random dude and I am just a random dude that's free and that got money and that fucking has a fucking, you know, two kids, a wife, takes care, household in New York, household in Dominican Republic. I could travel to wherever the hell I want. I could get whatever the hell I want. But I'm just a random dude. But how did this random dude get to this point? Is by focusing on what's the goal. Becoming independent and making money for myself and others and my family. That's it. Not focusing. I, I don't make no money from me going in there and learn every algorithm. I don't make no money off that shit. That shit does not get me to where I need to get to. Learning all of the different algorithms that's out there on fucking leak code and code wars and all this shit will not get you to where you need to get to straight up. They're not going to get you there. Most of those guys, they're working for fucking companies. And most of those guys, they've been working for companies for years. And when they one company fires them, they have to run back to work for another company. They don't even have enough income to quit for one year. They can't survive. They last two months and they're like, man, I got to pay my bill. I got to pay my $3,000 rent. I got to go and find another startup or, or I got to do this and that. They can't fucking survive because they don't know how to make money on their own. They need somebody else to pay them. That's why I follow guys like this, bro. This dude is fucking legit, man. Levels.io, go check him out, okay? He started by creating a YouTube channel, which was a compilation of music videos. Look at that, compilation of music videos. And then from there, he sold that. Got his first initial, I believe, $50,000, $100,000. Then from there, what he did was he said, I'm going to learn how to code. And start building my own dashboards for my own things or for, you know, his own YouTube channel, right? At the same time, look, what if my, this is the shit that I was looking for back then, right? What if money was no object in your life? This is a good blog post, right? This guy's, they're now on fucking YouTube. <laughs> they're not on YouTube. Johnny FD is on YouTube, right? But levels that yo he's not on youtube the guys that make crazy amount of money as game developers they're not on youtube the guys that you see that have fucking multi-million dollar you know companies they're not on youtube you get what i'm saying i'm the only one that's here that's talking about this shit none of these fucking guys talk about any of this shit because they've never done it and they never probably will do it because they prepare themselves to just be workers. You need to start thinking like a boss. How can you continue to grow, right? Look, continue going there, dedicating our lives to what is essential to organization to make money. This is like seven years ago. The shit that I'm talking about now is because I learned it from these guys. That mentality of like, damn, 
Get your shit. Learn the things that you need. You know, think about how you can become independent. See opportunities like I'm seeing right now with Shopify. There's a 20 million jump from April to now. From 48 million, 48 million to now 60 million people, right? That's going in and out on Shopify. And that's not even counting the, the jump that was, I think, what was it? 60 or 70, from 70 million to 100 million on myshopify.com. That's an opportunity. None of these dweebs that's here, they don't even know that this shit is happening. You know what I'm saying? The people that's fucking entrepreneurs, the guys that that is in the industry of making money and, and just trying to fucking see opportunities, they notice it. I'm telling you guys right now, y'all could watch the same live stream. I'm going to leave this shit right here, right? Just to fucking count it down as the last live stream on YouTube. But I'm telling you guys ahead of time, like what I'm talking about and what I'm doing on this YouTube channel, you could come back. You know, from five years from now and come back to this video and you're going to be like, damn, Joe's fucking right. Everything I said from 2017 till now, I was fucking right. Every single person that has gotten a job always comes back and says, Joe, everything that you taught us on CodingFace.com, everything that you was talking about is exactly what I'm doing at my job right now. I'm not making shit up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... This is something that we could see in real time. Okay. Why overnight success is a myth. This is true. Okay. Let's go to how I switch from PC to Mac in less than seven days. PC is garbage. Invest in yourself. Buy yourself a Mac. OS X for Windows users. Step your fucking game up. Right. Reset your life. Co-working space in Bangkok. This is when he already he was he was gone. He already sold his YouTube channel. He was out there. Okay. Do whatever you're drawn to. Okay. The hundred thing challenge, right? Co-working space in, in, in Bangkok launch pad. Okay. To awaken quite I'm just gonna go through the, the title so you can see. This is like while I was watching this guys, this is how my mind was changing and elevating every single time. Every single year, right? I wish I would have went back and I would have done a YouTube channel or a blog or something when I first started, because then I would have seen my my growth completely. But the way how I see my growth is by coming to this guy's website, because everything that he was talking about, that's what I was doing. As he went in and posted it, I started to implement it into my life. So every single thing that's in here, you could literally see how my life went the last nine years. Okay, speaking as a graduate of one, top schools teach you credentials in ladder climbing. This is the shit that I'm talking about now, but this is what this guy was teaching me seven years ago, right? There are simply no other fields in which I can spend $100 tomorrow and set up a new business, right? That's development. That's why you want to be in web development. There's no other field that you could spend $100 Build something, right? Pay for the hosting with a hundred dollars for the whole year, right? That's a new business. Okay, we're just going through this thing. Okay, Con continue. Okay, it's in the news. Don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> look, and, and we this is from fucking seven years ago. If it's in the news, don't worry about it. This goes into everything. If you start seeing some shit popping up, Dino JS, the, the latest Teletubby framework, if it just popped up, don't worry about it. There's a reason it just popped up. Okay, continue. HTTPS, NGINX, for free, help make the world more secure, right? This one he started learning with PHP and started focusing on PHP. Make money where prices are high. Spend it where prices are low. Does income arbitrage work? Okay, this is what I, I was on. Money as an enslaved method, right? Yeah, right? This is how they keep you as a slave. You become a legal slave to somebody when you are depending on their income that they provide for you. With jobs gone, will robots owners pay people's income, right? So he was talking about universal income back then, okay? 
Stand up comedians or creativity. Okay, we're just gonna continue. Okay, just so every time that we go up, it's like you're pretty much seeing, you know, pretty much seeing everything that has to do with, with like my journey. Stripe launches beta in the Netherlands. This dude was on Stripe when it just first came out. Okay, continue. Okay, we could continue on this. You constantly need to be painting, or it looks like total crap. Again, you gotta catch the gems, right? The shit that I come here, I could come here and talk to you guys for two hours. We do a crazy live stream. If you're sitting here for those two hours, you're gonna pick up the gems, right? You're gonna pick up things that you've never seen before. Again, if we look at the things that we're seeing here, there's gems in here. You constantly need to be painting or it's, or it looks like total crap. What does that mean? You need to start practicing. Whatever you're doing, you need to practice it all the time. Because if you don't, then you're going to fall off. Same thing as development. That's how you, you fucking learn. Okay? We just continue. A culture distraction is not the problem. Okay? We just continue. Automation will free us from the endless consumption of production cycle we're in. Okay, you're just a piece of a heartless shitty machine that makes money, right? If you're not making no changes, right, and you're not helping other people, that's what you are. You're just a shitty person that's not doing anything. There's so many people that make money and don't share it to other people. They, uh, you know, the reason why people don't don't get to become free, it's not because that is not possible. It's that 99% of the people that are already free and live a, a life that people want, they're not sharing that information. They're not. Because they no longer become special. You get what I'm saying? Cash means controlling your own destiny. Again, if you have cash and you make money, you do whatever the fuck you want to do. You don't have to answer to nobody. You do what you want to do. Okay? So... I mean, we, we could just continue on this, right? And just continue seeing how I predict Bitcoin's price by tracking Twitter mentions. All right. This is stuff that he was working on on, you know, 2013. This is when I had Bitcoins. I st when he started talking about it, that's when I had Bitcoins, right? Bitcoin price. All right. Let's go back to 2013. Okay. Maximum. How much that shit was in 2013? Less than $200, bro. Right? Less than $200. That's when we had Bitcoins. I mean, me stupidly, I should have went in and, and cashed out and bought a whole bunch of shit. But I wasn't there. You know, I wasn't ready there at that point. I wasn't making that much money to be just spending, you know, $200, $300 for like uh, one Bitcoin alone. So I bought like maybe four or five, but I, if I had the money, I would have spent like, you know, 20,000 on them. I would have made crazy amount, but you know, that's, that's why I always tell you guys, that's why you need to have cash because when opportunities come, you get to know about it, but then you don't have the income to take on, uh, take that opportunity and, and ride with it. Okay. We continue. All right. How I spend the night with Singapore's migrant workers. How I travel the world with just carry on back. Okay, this is 2014, the year of tech step drum. Da da da. It's practically impossible for regular people to buy Bitcoin, right? Yeah. Okay, we just continue. We just continue. Okay, we just continue. Okay. And this is when he really started going and he said, I'm launching 12 startups in 12 months. Out of that, launch that he did he created digital uh digital nomads um it, it's not digital nomads it's nomad list that io if you go to this website nomad list that io he created this website back then he was just talking about it he said wouldn't it be nice to create a website where you have the information of every city. How much does it cost to live there? How fast is the internet? How this, this, and that, right? And it's a simple service that anybody could have done. But then from there, he went and took it up a notch and created a social network within this thing where you could subscribe, right? You could go in there. They even got dating now, okay? 
They even got dating in this shit. Okay? But, same time, he also created RemoteOK.io. This is where all the companies post, you know, the remote jobs. This is, this is how you fucking think. Okay? Again, this is how you should be. Okay, this is how you should should fucking be, guys. You want to follow guys like this. When I come in here, I'm talking about things. I'm not a crazy dude just talking about shit. I'm a fucking person that fucking has made it happen already. When I tell you learn Shopify, I'm seeing the fucking crazy potential. Is the opportunity is there? What you're gonna be seeing throughout this whole year, the next two three years, is gonna be crazy with Shopify. You want to be the first ones in there. To be, you know, the authority in that field. Because once everybody else got in, that's it. That shit becomes WordPress. Those jobs are becoming $50,000 jobs. Or, you know, people are trying to fucking do it on Upwork. The Indians haven't gotten to Shopify yet. <laughs> right? Those little guys that go in there and, and, and put on fiber for like, Hey, I'll, I'll fucking build your, your, your Shopify store for $2.50. Like... People know that they exist on Fiverr, but they haven't gotten to the point where every single Indian developer is no Shopify. They don't. They know WordPress. They know fucking Magento. They know WooCommerce, but they haven't gotten to that shit yet. So if you become an authority and become one of the first ones into this, now you're the go-to guy for this. You know what I'm saying? And then this is a skill that you can use on your own. Like, e-commerce is the, the gateway to becoming fucking successful. Everybody that you know that's successful, they sell something. As a developer, this could give you the introduction to learn how e-commerce work. And tomorrow, you could be like, oh, you're, you're a girl. You're like, oh, maybe I want to sell panties and bras. Maybe I want to sell uh, uh, fucking... Uh, some little cute kawaii dolls or some shit. But now you're able to create your own website, your own application. And you because you are working as a developer, you can fund that side income that you wanted to build. It's just, I'm telling you guys, everything you have, everything that you do has to be a circle. If it doesn't come back, if it doesn't make you money here and then makes you more money here and then makes you more money here and then makes you more money here and then comes right back to the initial place where you was at, then you don't need to be doing it. You don't need to be learning it. Okay? That's just how it is. Over 2,000 play their inbox will play my inbox. Okay? This is That was one application that he built. Just stuff that he was trying out. My second starter, uh, go fucking do it. Set a goal, deadline, and if you fail, you pay. A, a stupid idea, but some people used it. Where you basically put in $100. Now, you could tell your friend, hey, uh, I want you to, uh, I don't know. It's like a bet, almost like a bet. You, you go in, you say, hey, you create a goal. I want to lose 50 pounds by the end of this summer. Okay? If you don't create, if you don't. If you don't um, complete that goal, you have to pay the fifty dollars to your friend. You lose your fifty dollars, right? So it was a dumb idea, but hey, from every dumb idea that you do, there's probably gonna be another one that's gonna be good. Okay, if you can't express yourself by email, you're not worthy of anyone's time. Yep, run through ideas quickly on self-funding startups, right? We have ideology broken and personality, uh, personally unfilling society, okay? How go fucking do it? Raise 30,000 in pledges in less than a month. This was a shitty idea, and I was like, yo, this shit is shitty. But somehow he raised $30,000 in there, okay? My third startup, Tubalytics, the real-time dashboard for YouTube publishers, Okay? He started creating all of these things because he needed it for YouTube. And then from there, he sold that business. Okay? Made his money. Continue. All right? And you know what he used to do that? PHP. No front-end frameworks. No nothing. Right? So when, again, when you come in and... And, and you have people that say, hey, you got to learn this, this, and that, this, and that. You got to learn this uh, new framework. 
or whatever the hell it is that's that's trending, it's all bullshit. Because the guys that's making money out here, they're not looking at those things. They're just finding something that they learned, and they say, okay, what do I know? What can I learn quick? How can I build these ideas quick? How did I sell my startup today? The achiever in crisis. How to access anyone's Telegram message without unlocking the phone. Ideal fears and scripts. Bali's the magical voodoo spirit island. Uh, why does Generation Y feel so lost and what's the cure? Uh, how I got my startup to be number one on both Product Hunt and Hacker News by accident. Right? So this was Nomad List. This is where it started. Okay? He goes in and shares how he actually got it in there and shared it with everybody. Bro, this company, he his company, Nomad List, makes about $50,000 to $80,000 a month independently. Again, independently, which is something that guys that right now that are working at Google, they don't make that type of money. Okay? One million annual run rate. Okay. That's the game that he's on. Like he's on right now. Like I've been seeing this dude from the whole journey. You know, I'm almost there. I'm not a one million. I'm I'm about to get there pretty soon. But at the same time, I'm like, holy shit. You know, it's crazy to me that I'm like, damn, I, I'm almost catching up to this guy. He's been doing it for longer than me, but I'm almost catching up. And then there's guys that are learning from me and they're almost catching up to me. That's the process, right? Whoever goes first got to go and do the work and then shares it to the last one, right? And then that last one go and passes whatever level he's on. That's what's going to happen with a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are going to go higher places than what I got to. This is just the beginning. Okay? So, yeah, man. Let's see. Shopify stock went up. Oh, wow. I mean, I've been buying some Shopify stocks. I have like, currently right now, I don't even have that much. I got my, my, uh, let me see if I log into my stash invest. Um, Robinhood, I'm not going to log into. I don't like doing it through the website. Um, but this is my, if you want to see a little bit of my, my little bullshit stash invest. This is what I have, right? Since I started, I just started back again. I sold all my stocks a long time ago, right? Um, I have like AMD. I have a whole bunch of AMD. Um, but for my stash invest, this is like stuff that I just put in like weekly just for the hell of it. It's like an automatic, right? I invested 1500 since I started in, in May and I made $2,000 back, right? Which is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I basically made my money back plus more, right? And I still got my money. So whatever I invested is already there. So it's like 3557 So my stash invest, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have this like, this is money for Ethan. So when Ethan becomes 18 years old, I'm going to give him whatever I make from stash invest, right? Uh, but yeah, this is what I got. I got Spotify. I got 1378 right? Weekly, I put $50. Tesla. I have 1019 weekly I put in $50 on that. Shopify I put 25. Okay, weekly on June 25. You know what? Should we put in Look, it was uh them the last few days it went up $200. That's crazy. I should have been putting fucking $50 on that. Okay? <laughs> Let's put in $50 on that. Buy shop. Okay, just do that. All right, cool. So, yeah, man. Like, I have Tesla, Shopify. Of course, I got Spotify. Uh, because I feel like Spotify at some point is going to jump into video. And I think the only person, or the only person, the only company that could actually compete with YouTube is going to be Spotify or Amazon. Uh, I don't think I have any Amazon stocks for my stash invest. I got Zoom video which I made 50% on this, okay, which is crazy. Um, 
let's see, AMD, $50, right? I just have it there just because. But I already have a whole bunch of AMD stocks on my Robinhood. Uh, JetBlue, right? 10% up. Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. I feel like all of these uh, things, they're going to come back up little by little. And um, yeah, just invest like $10 in there. But yeah, man, that's what we're doing, you know, when it comes to the stocks. And double since March, I regret not investing more money. I mean, I was telling people about Shopify. People don't fucking believe what. <laughs> I don't know. It's like I could come here, talk to you guys for an hour, two hours. But if you don't take no action, then that's on you. Uh, let's see. Just saw a React job looking for pay one hundred and eighty thousand. Thoughts? Hey, that there's a lot of jobs for React that pay a lot of money. But I'm being honest. Once you get anything above a hundred thousand dollars, you need a lot of experience, bro. They're not gonna hire you if you are a junior developer. That's just how it is. It's like a pipe dream. A lot of people they see those big jobs and be like, that shit has nothing to do with you. I'm just being 100% honest. Unless you have three years of experience at multiple companies, don't even look at those jobs. It's like you're, you're kind of hurting yourself to even be looking at that shit because you're not going to get the job. You're just looking at it like, damn, man, it's nice. You're not going to get those type of jobs. I'm just being realistic. Right? Um, you might get, you know, the anything from like, 60 to 90 grand on your first job that's more realistic those jobs are achievable those are jobs that you can get because just with a bullshit course that you've taken on udemy or even on, on anything codingface.com you could just go in and apply to that job and they'll hire you they'll give you the opportunity if you know what you're doing but once you go anything above a hundred thousand like those type of jobs they're not about like what you can do yeah, you could do React, but what they care about is the experience and have you been tested? Have you been tested with problems, with bugs, with shit that is going to come up? And when you get that type of money, they expect you to be able to handle those situations. And a guy that just started won't be able to handle that. Let me see. Airline stock is up 10%. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Da, da, da. Understand how Robinhood has a five-day hold on the funds once stock buy is done. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> it's a lot of bullshit, man. But, yeah, man. I'm about to head out of here, guys. We hanged out for a while. We did a nice live stream. Guys, what I will say, go check out the Twitch Go check out the Twitch, 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 twitch.com slash coding phase live. Okay, go in there, go follow your boy. Seems like we got 22 followers. Okay, go follow your boy on coding phase live. We're going to be going in there doing a whole bunch of live streams and, and you know, have fun with it. Uh, for the Discord link, it's very simple. You could just go to codingphase.com. Go to codingphase.com just like this. All right? Click over here. See my account and click on Discord chat room. That's going to give you an invite. Okay? And it's going to bring you into the Discord chat room. Okay? If you guys need the link, if you've never used it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, man, like I said, we're going to be doing live streams in there. We're going to have a lot of fun. And yeah, man, hopefully you guys learn some things and have fun in this live stream. But like I said, guys, go check out in the description. I'm putting a link to the Shopify course, uh, which is going to give you a discount, a major discount. So you want to take advantage of that. I'm telling you guys about this and I'm focusing on it because I'm seeing the potential. This is not something that I'm just coming out out of my fucking ass and be like, well, let's create some course that's going to get fucking views. Like nobody's searching for Shopify. Like the guys that if you notice this, 
Nobody's talking about Shopify. None of the guys that you see that does tutorials, crash courses, uh, fucking all them shits. Nobody's talking about that. They don't focus on what's going to get you money. They don't focus on knowing like what's coming. They focus on what's already here and what's already trending. And let me just create it and hop on the next wave of whatever people are searching for. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to give you that information that's going to put you ahead of everybody else to be able to make money and be able to get to your goals, which is hopefully become free of working with anybody else and just doing your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Shout out to David Turner. Shout out to Alexis Contreras, right? Um, we had like two people. Why this whole live stream, right? I'm talking about all of these things and in two hours, right? Basically, only two people took advantage of that coupon code. Sad, right? Sad because, you know, hopefully it is because some people might say, hey, man, I'm not in a position, you know, coronavirus. I don't got a job. I'm not in a position to be able to buy something right now or to sign up to anything. I hope that that's the, the reason. Um, but if you're just like not doing it because you're like, oh, uh, I don't know if this shit is what I need to focus on then, bro, I, I can't help you uh, straight up because I'm telling you ahead of time, I'm showing you guys all of this shit and you should want to get into something that you're going to find jobs and that you can make money for yourself. You know, I can't. I can only give you the, the fucking game. Same way how Levels.io gave me the game back then and showed me, like, what was working, what was the thing that I needed to focus on, Right? If I didn't follow what he was telling me back then, right, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. There's a lot of people that didn't follow what, you know, Levels.io was telling them back then. There's a lot of people because when you go to the forums and the groups and you talk about, you know, entrepreneurs and, 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 and guys that do like development, they're like, man, I... I remember when Levels.io was talking about this, and I'm like, yeah, stupid. I mean, and that's why you still work at a company and look at where I'm at. I follow what he was telling me. Like, there's specific people that's out here that will share the shit that works. And they and you know it works because they're they fucking doing it themselves. Like, that's the thing. You know, like there's fucking guys that I'll be seeing online. I'm like, oh, they talk about, oh, I'm Doing fucking a Udemy, not Udemy, a, a course on Udemy for Vue.js, or I'm doing some course on, on on some shit that they never use, and they don't make their money from it, right? But then they're telling people, go learn this shit, or hey, go buy my next course, or this, this, and that. It's like, bro, you, you don't have a fucking track record for <laughs> success. You know what I'm saying? Like, you still work at another fucking person's company. You're not making no money out here. Like, why the fuck am I going to be listening to you to go learn the fucking Teletubby framework and go spend two months or a month, whatever it is that I have to do, learning a course or some shit. And it's like, yo, you don't have a good track record. Like, that's how I look at a lot of these people. I'm like, yo, you don't got a good track record, bro. Like, for me to be fucking buying your course or doing this and that, like, I can't. I, got, I need to see a good track record of, like, what you've been making. Has your life been fucking improving? And has it been improving before you were selling courses? Like, that's something that every single one of you guys can ask me. And be like, Joe, from all the shit that you've done, right? Do, do you feel like, what's the shit that have been making you money? Right? Everything that I talk about and everything that I teach is the shit that I, makes me money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't make fucking things. Like, what if I was to come here and be like, hey, guys, I'm going to make a Java course. Oh, we're going to use Spring Boot. I've never made a dollar with Java Spring. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit hasn't made me successful. You know what I'm saying? There's no fucking, I don't see myself making any money out of that shit. Right? So it's like, y'all should hold other people to the same standards of like, like, do you make all your money just from fucking courses? And, and of course. And, and if you, that's the success that you had from selling courses, I already was fucking successful before I even sold the course. So 
A lot of the guys that I see out here, I'm like, that's why I don't fucking follow nobody. I don't do collaboration with nobody. I don't work with nobody. I'm like, the only people I want to work with is Johnny FD, um, fucking Levels the IO. Who else? Uh, this this other other K, um, K Yuan, uh, another. Uh, he's from Singapore. Uh, the guys that work out on, on Product Hunt, those are the people I want to work with. Because they're fucking grinding. The guys that created Ghost. Okay? Like, search this up, man. Search. I, I talked about this before. Open startup, right? I see people that they, they go in and they, they follow a whole bunch of people. That they're just talking about code and they're talking about this is the latest framework. This is how to do the same shit that you could do yesterday in JavaScript. Here's another way of doing the same shit, right? Those are the people that you're following on Twitter. Okay. Go ahead and take some time. Go to this website. Go to openstartuplist.com. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a, a little game. Go to openstartuplist.com. Here you're going to find all of the information of a whole bunch of different startups, right? And then go follow the owners and the founders of these startups. They're not the fucking guys that's talking about, hey guys, uh, new shit just came out in JavaScript today, right? The same shit that you was able to do yesterday. Hey, we found another way to do the same shit today. And here's a code snippet. That's wasting your time, bro. You want to go in and start learning from people like this, man. That's giving you fucking results that you're like, okay, what did you guys build your startup on? Or what do you use? Or what you working on, etc. Right? This is all built on PHP. This is Nomad List. Built on PHP. Right? Right now, he's making $325,000 a year. Okay, that's what he's making right now, right? Killing it. Let's go into Ghost. Two million annual run rate. Okay, two million. That's where they at now. Okay, then we come here and continue, and we say, okay, let's see, let's continue checking out other other places. This is Buffer annual run rate twenty million. Okay. And this is just regular people. This is not like, oh, fucking Google or some shit. This is regular dudes that own these fucking businesses. And they're sharing the fucking knowledge and showing it to you. Okay? 398 on uh, remoteok.io. Again, remember, this kid levels.io owns both of them. He owns both of them. So that tells you he's making about... $700,000 a year by himself and he don't have no employees and he don't even spend no money on advertisement. That's the cool people you want to hang out with. People like myself, people like this guys, they're fucking getting shit done. Those are the people you want to follow, bro. Those are the people that you want to follow like straight up, bro. Like, this shit is fucking crazy. Look, total revenue, $779,000. Revenue the last 12 months, $300,000. Right now, he's at a point where they're like $398,000 for this year alone. Then from there, we could continue, right? I'm just giving you guys game, man. I'm just showing you guys the shit that you, you want to go and follow, right? Okay, you got... This one, revenue expensive. Okay, now this is just a regular dude, right? They're making about, you know, this is a small startup, not a big one, small startup. $754, okay? So you got guys that are making hundreds of thousands because they've been doing it for a while. And there's guys that just started. There's like making $800 that most likely has a job, Okay. But $800 per month extra, that's money you could save and invest into other things. You know what I'm saying? So while you're working, you're making $800. Now you have one startup making that. Then you open up another one. Then you have a blog. Then you have a YouTube. Then you have another shit. Next thing you know, you're making more money than your full-time job. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, but it is what it is. Again, I had a combo with a recruiter who was desperately looking for Shopify developer. Notice they were asking, all asking for 130K plus. You know what I mean? So, when I come here, it's not me making some shit up. <laughs> this is shit that you could do your research. I give you, you know what I mean? Like, you go into most people and they'll tell you, like, let's say somebody tells you something. and be like, oh, this is how much money you can make. You don't have to believe me. I'm getting this information from the same data and the same information that I'm giving to you guys. To see and you could do your own research. I'm giving you all of these websites so you could go and, and figure it out yourself. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. <laughs> Again, like I tell you guys, you want to go get it. You want to go get the Shopify uh, career bundle. Take advantage, man, because it's $500, bro. I'm giving it to you right now, 190 you're saving a lot of money, and it's like 14, 15 courses, plus everything that comes out from Shopify, I'm adding to that same bundle. So if you're serious about this, you pretty much is like a, a, a lifetime, you're buying that, and you're basically getting like a lifetime access to whatever has to do with Shopify. It's a great deal. You could ask the people that have been here from 2017 when I told them, hey guys, sign up to codingphase.com, $5. There's hundreds and, and not, probably thousands of people that missed out on the opportunity. Like, I don't know what Joe, I don't know this guy, $5 a month to get all this shit. They didn't believe. When I jump on something, it's because that's where the bag is at, right? When I tell you something, that's where the bag is at. That's where the success is at, okay? People didn't believe. Three years later, CodingFace.com has thousands of, of students worldwide, right? It's 20 bucks per month. But there's people that were here in 2017 punching the air. They're like, damn, I could have got it for five bucks. You missed out. You didn't believe in what we was doing. You didn't you didn't do the research. You could do your own fucking research. That's why I give you all the this information. Go to indeed.com. Go to fucking levels.io. Look what he's doing. Look at fucking other Shopify developers. Search on Instagram. Shopify dev. As a hashtag, there's guys sharing right now their income, how much they're making from selling applications on Shopify. I'm not making this shit up. I'm just happen to be the only one that's talking about it on YouTube because I'm in a different world. I'm in the world of making money as a developer. Most of these guys are in the world of impressing the other guy of how we could fucking do a while loop or how we can minimize, you know, this fucking JavaScript bundle from uh, 20K to 13K. I'm not in that world. I'm in the world that makes bread. So if you're into that shit, listen to what I'm telling you. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm out of here, guys. It is what it is. I'm going to see you guys later, man. Do your own research. The links is there in the description. You got a coupon if you want to Shopify. But all I can say is, even if you don't want to learn it from me or whatever you want to do, Figure it out on your own. But Shopify is the wave, kids. All right? Step your game up, man. You know? Step your fucking game up for 2020, 2021. Okay? Prepare yourself for success for 21. Right? 2020 was crazy. A lot of fucking shit that could bring you down. Your mood. You can't go outside. You, you're trying to go on, t on, on Tinder. Some of you guys haven't gotten some, some new Punani in, in, in months. Some of you guys is, is risking it all out here too. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yo, it's like, yeah, right now hitting your old ex-girlfriend because you can't go outside. You're like, yo, at least I know she clean. You know what I mean? Like, but now you can't even be on Tinder because you can't go outside. So some of you guys might be depressed. Some of you guys might be at home and be like, damn, I can't even go meet up. I can't go to a bar. I can't go do this and that. Take this time to work on yourself. Take this time to get your shit done, bro. You know, one thing that I was talking to Omar Surya, right, which was interesting. I'm telling him all the shit that I'm doing, all the things that I'm working on. And 
Omar was like, yo, bro, you're fucking ambitious. Like, yo, <laughs> he's like, yo, you're fucking ambitious. Like, you're doing so much. Like, even the shit from buying your house to flip it to another house, to buy a million dollar house on a wedge deal, to do all this shit that I'm doing. Like, he's like, damn, you're fucking ambitious. And it's like, he's like, yo, he's in my crib. He came to my crib. He's like, yo, you good here. What more do you want? I want it all. I want to see what life has to offer. If we could get a helicopter for the backyard, we're going to get the helicopter. Let's see if we could get to that point. If we don't get to that point, that's fine. Right? But you want to see what life has to offer. You want to continue working. You want to continue pushing on to the next level. That's it. Sky's the limit. You limit yourself to what you want to do. And not having creativity, not thinking ahead, not being a visionary always holds you back. If you think that nothing in life is going to come with a risk, right? And you don't want to take those risks. Then that's why you're in the same position that you've been on for a long time. For you to get to another point, you need to go and take risk. That's just how it is. And put that shit for everything that you do. Okay? You want to get into development, but oh, this shit's 20 bucks. It's a risk. Okay, cool. Don't get into development. You're not going to fucking become a developer. <laughs> Or you could go in and be like, I'm going to go in and learn it from YouTube. I'm going to go on YouTube and try to find all this shit. The guys that's making money, the guys that's really doing it, they're not on fucking YouTube. I'm telling you ahead of time. I've been here for three years and I haven't seen another fucking developer like myself here. Besides in the game development community. Nobody that's doing software or web development or apps for like iOS and, and Android Nobody's on the same level as somebody like myself or what other game developers are doing. Nobody thinks like this. They're just fucking workers. They're not doing shit. You know what I mean? And it's fine to be a worker, but you got to have a fucking goal. You got to have a plan. You know? And you you just want to be a visionary, bro. You want to think ahead of, of, of all of these things and, and see, can I take a risk on this shit? Right? Can I go and be like, okay, let me do the research. Right? Do the research. But if you see the research and it's already giving you fucking good results and you see people are getting results and you see people that are fucking making bread out here, you're not going to be independent working for somebody forever. Again, you want to learn the things that you're going to be able to be independent on your own. And there's certain things that people teach here on YouTube that is just... Just like how, you know, like Levels I.O. was saying. It's like school system type shit. They teach you how to go up the ladder in a fucking job. They don't teach you how to walk away from the job. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys. All right. I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Take care, guys. Peace.